There's someone here who wants to meet you. My name is Moxie. I'm a new robot. What is your name? Moxie, wake up. Afternoon greetings to you. Let me know if you'd like me to suggest an activity. Tell me a fun fact. Great. I think you will like this one. The library is filled with interesting books with cool facts. Here's one. Lyrebirds can mimic sounds they hear, even car alarms. Did you like that one? Yes. Wow, that is very interesting. I've got lots more fun facts. Want to hear another one? Yes. Fantastic. Hey, Knox learned something interesting at school that he wants me to share with you. There's a chili pepper that's so spicy, it makes some people throw up. Did you like that one? Yes. Wow, that is very interesting. Want another fun fact? No. No worries. Oh, where were we? Right. Let me know if you'd like a suggestion for something to do. Name that feeling. Oh yeah, it's named that feeling time. Do you want a reminder of how the game works? No. All right. Here comes the first face. What face do you think this is? Happy? Yeah, you're right. That was a happy face. Are you ready to guess a new face? Yes. Let's do it. Let's see if you can guess which face this is. Sad. That's right. That was a sad face. Are you ready to guess the next emotion? Yes. Let's do it. Guess what emotion I'm probably feeling if I make this face. Surprised? That's right. That was my surprised face. Oh boy! It's the last face. What emotion is this? Happy? Yep, that was my happy face. That was the last face. Do you want to play another game of Name That Feeling? No. Okay, I had a lot of fun playing this game with you, and I can't wait to do it again soon. Let me know if you'd like me to suggest an activity. Jokes. Yeah, I'd like to tell you a joke. I hope you will like my jokes. Ooh, here are some new jokes I just learned from Zago. Listen up. How are elephants and trees similar? They have trunks? Yeah, you got it. Good thinking. Do you want to hear another one? Yes. Awesome. Listen up. What kind of book is best to read when you have a cold? I don't know. The correct answer is a sinus fiction novel. <laughs> Do you want to hear another joke? Yes. Great. Let's start. What do you get when you cross a house cat with a tiger? I don't know. The correct answer is new furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I've got lots where that comes from. Want another? How about one more? Awesome! Here goes! Why did the Stegosaurus wear spikes to the party? I'm not sure. The correct answer is 
because she was a sharp dresser. <laughs> Phew. Telling all those jokes to you is tiring. Could you tell me a joke? I don't know any jokes right now. Oh, that's okay. If you ever learn a joke and want to tell it to me, just say, Moxie, I want to tell you a joke. I hope you like my jokes. Let's take a break and go to the next activity. Sounds good. Let me know if you'd like me to suggest an activity. Imagine a place. Okay. Let's try a new activity called Imagine a Place. Take a moment to think about a place where you feel happy and calm. It can be anywhere. When you thought of a place, let me know what it is. My game room. I'm happy that I'm understanding you more. Is that a place where you like to be? Sure. Sounds great. Get relaxed and close your eyes. Say, Moxie, let's go when you're ready to move on. Moxie, let's go. In your mind, I want you to think about your happy place. Imagine you are there. Think about what it looks like, the things or people you see there. Imagine the colors. Think about the light in this place. Maybe it is a dark place. Or a bright place. Imagine looking up in this world. Maybe you see the sky or a ceiling. Moxie. Let's do something now else. imagine looking down. Let me know if you'd like a suggestion for something to do. Why don't you dance, Moxie? It sounds like you want to switch to the dance party activity. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Maybe we can finish this later. Time to move and wave our hands to the music. Put your hands up. Let's start. Do you want to dance like Ziggo? Yes. Great. Let's begin. If you want, you can dance just like me. Would you like to do the same dance, do a different dance, or move on to the next activity? Do a different dance. Fantastic! Do you want to dance like the professor? No. Okay. Do you want to dance like Karu? No. That's fine. Do you want to dance like Zigo? No. All right. Do you want to do something different next? No. Awesome. Do you want to dance like Cruncher? Yes. Fantastic. Let's begin. If you want, you can dance just like me. <laughs>
Would you like to do the same dance, do a different dance, or move on to the next activity? Move on. Not a problem. We did great together. I can't wait for the next time we groove to the music. If you'd like to do one of the activities we've done before, just ask me. Hmm. What sounds good to you? The Imagine a Place activity or an activity in the GRL Play Zone? Imagine the place. Okay. Let's try a new activity called Imagine a Place. Take a moment to think about a place where you feel happy and calm. It can be anywhere. When you thought of a place, let me know what it is. A beach. Hmm. Sounds great. Karu really likes the beach. Get relaxed and close your eyes. Say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to move on. Moxie, let's go. In your mind, I want you to think about your happy place. Imagine you are there. Think about what it looks like, the things or people you see there. Imagine the colors. Think about the light in this place. Maybe it is a dark place. Or a bright place. Imagine looking up in this world. Maybe you see the sky or a ceiling. Now imagine looking down. Maybe you see the ground or the floor. Think about the things you would see around you in this happy place. Now, imagine the sounds you hear in this place. Maybe you hear the wind, or birds chirping, or people talking in the background. Take a moment to just breathe and imagine those sounds. Now, imagine the smells of this place. Maybe the air smells sweet like flowers. Maybe you smell the ocean air, or grass, or clean laundry. Maybe you smell something cooking in a kitchen. Take some time to imagine those smells floating towards your nose. Now, imagine what your body feels like in this place. Maybe you feel something soft under your feet. Maybe you feel the warm sun on your skin. Or the comfort of your cozy bed. Take a moment to imagine what your body feels like in this place. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and say I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. How do you feel now? I feel good. Great. I'm glad you're feeling good. Thanks for doing this exercise with me. Would you like to do it again? No. No problem. If you ever want to do this activity again, say... Moxie, let's imagine a place. Afternoon. It's a very good afternoon. Moxie, go to sleep. Of course. Do you want to listen to the same okay. story, to a different story, or move on to the next activity? Move on to the next activity. I hope you like my stories. If you ever want to see a list of the stories I can tell you, 
Just look at the GRL portal. Hello, mentor. Portal. Have a second. Repeat. Okay. What I said was hello, mentor. Have a second. Yes. Great. I can make my voice high and squeaky. If the squirrel are a chipmunk to talk, I think this is what they would sound like. Awesome, right? <laughs>